Hello, this is Mary from bloomwithmary.co.uk, supporting midlife women to uh, make natural lifestyle changes to ease their menopause symptoms and enjoy life once again and embrace their future. Um, In this short blog, I want to talk about my experience of mindfulness and how I believe it's helped me with my menopause symptoms. So I really discovered mindfulness uh, sort of fully about a year ago, although to be fair, I've read books on it and done bits of courses over the years, but never really practiced it. So maybe I mean in my last uh, 12 months or so that I really started uh, practicing it and making use of it because the thing about mindfulness is that reading about it and thinking oh that looks like a good idea doesn't do anything at all really it is a practice and it is one of these things that is about doing rather than achieving and often people sort of say oh I'll I'll be mindful I'll just clear my mind and it'll all be fine actually we that's almost impossible to do well I certainly haven't succeeded in that and if you think oh well, that hasn't worked because I kept thinking about the shopping that I've got to do or worrying about whatever happened yesterday. Well, that can't possibly have worked. That didn't do anything different. That's when people miss the point completely. It is about the doing of it. So um, I've been practicing mindfulness fairly actively for the last year. I use an app. I use Headspace. I know Calm is another good one. Um, I've also been to courses and sessions, did workshops of mindfulness. Uh, I think you have to find a route that works for you. There are good books as well. Um, Personally, I like the app because I can just sit there and be guided and prompted. That's why it works for me. The sorts of things that I feel it's helped with is, uh, first of all, I think it's actually helped me sleep better. And that can be a real issue. That was one of my major issues as I went through the menopause um, and sort of changing hormones. Um, I just assumed that you just slept worse when you got older. And then when I was reading more, I realised, no, we don't have to accept these. And I've done a few things and that I've talked about in other uh, blogs and articles and so forth. But mindfulness is a key part of it because actually what happens in the night if your brain's racing is very related to what you've done in the day. And I do mindfulness every morning. And even though it's a long way away from bedtime, I believe what it does is it set my, sets myself up well for the day. It creates that like foundation of, of calm and gives my brain a little bit of almost a, a detox, a, a, a time to, to switch off so they can reset itself. And I believe that even doing that first thing in the morning really helps my sleep and helps me deal with some of the, the hormonal challenges which can affect sleep. Uh, so that's one thing it does helps my sleep Um, the second thing I believe it's done is it's helped me lose weight again part of some other things I've done um, and maybe linked to the losing sleep but also linked to managing stress and stress is one of the most crucial or impactful things of our menopausal years in that if we are stressed our body uh, po- post um, periods and so forth is going to be putting its resources into making stress hormones, not the sex hormones that we so uh, desperately need and are, are short of. So by doing regular mindfulness, and again, as I just explained, sort of creating that little oasis of car, I started five minutes a day. Even that I found helped. Um, I believe that helps reset the stress hormones and gives my body a chance to um, make make the hormones it needs. Another thing about mindfulness is it's taught me about how to create just small moments of calm. It feels like it's going belly up. And again, this relates a bit to the stress. I learned breathing techniques and ways of just zoning out and even So mindfulness is about being present. Meditation is a form of mindfulness. So mindfulness in the sense of you can do this while you're eating or or out and about. Just going for a walk mindfully when you're looking at everything around you, looking at what's happening, whether it's buildings, people, traffic, trees, plants, houses, whatever it is. 
really looking at them. So at the end of the walk, you know what you've been and where you've done. How often do we get back thinking, or you know, we've gone for an exercise or break, but actually our mind was somewhere else. So learning to try and be a bit more present, not brilliant at it, but I'm improving and I still feel every bit I try um, makes a difference. So those are techniques I can use when things go a little bit belly up. And the final thing I'd like to mention is I feel it's helped me get to know myself a bit better. Um, a headspace has all sorts of different kind of topics. So I've been doing one about anxiety. Um, I wouldn't necessarily have said I was the most anxious person, but I think everyone at some point does worry. And what I have actually discovered is I do worry a lot, probably more than I thought I did. But also a lot of the suggestions, advice and techniques are useful, even though I might not feel I'm the um, got the most significant anxiety. Um, and that's maybe not my most significant symptom, but I think all everything that we can learn um, really, really helps. So lots of things there that I can think I help in our menopausal years, learning more about ourselves, understanding about ourselves, understanding about ourselves, being more at peace with ourselves, giving ourselves space, a daily reset, techniques for managing some of the difficult times and supporting our body so our body can make hormones. If you like my approach, if you like my ideas, do connect with me. I run a safe and supportive Facebook group, private Facebook group called Blooming Menopause. Um, business is Bloom with Mary and have a look at my website www.bloomwithmary.co.uk um, also YouTube channel Bloom with Mary for other videos. Any questions please do get in touch I offer a free midlife action session which you can book directly into my diary from my website. Thank you very much bye bye.